of the tests we do here at QSB to test the silver that we get when it comes in from unknown sources or unknown products is we run it through our annealing furnace. And what it does is it lets us know the, the content of the silver that's in it. Right here we have a 90% silver dollar. Uh, it's well worn but it's been buffed up so it'll show up. This is a sterling silver metal that was done in the 70s which was the standard then. And then we have one of our silver rounds that's at least three nines fine. So we're going to run them through the furnace right now and then we're going to see what they look like when they come out the other side. First the dollar. Then the sterling. And now our three nines fine silver. These are uh, three pieces of silver. The furnace here runs at about 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, takes about five minutes for the silver to go through. And we want to get the silver to be at least a thousand degrees Fahrenheit to be able to anneal it. So first off here, here's the Morgan dollar. I guess you can see the color of that. We'll set that right there. There's the sterling silver. And there's our three nines. These are very, very hot. If I touch that, I would have a nice blister. So you can see, this is a great test. If they're plated, it'll even burn through the plating. So it's a, one of the first tests that we use when we receive silver from a dealer or from the public to check on its purity. Okay, this is another uh, test that we perform when we have metals come in. It's the Sigma Metalytics Tester. It's become a great tool that we use here. It's a precious metals verifier. So I've set it up here. It's set right now for 3.9 silver. So I'm going to push the button that I can run it. it. Tells me it's ready for me to put the silver on there for 3.9. I put our silver on there. It's within the range. Uh, it's a little actually above the, the center. So I'm actually going to push it up a notch. Let's take it up to four nines. Our silver is right in the middle of the four nines. So we actually have contemplated putting three nines plus on our silver, but our silver is at least three nines and usually better. This was what the Canadians found too, and they decided to put four nines on theirs. So now, let's go back here to the three nines. Let's run our sterling on there. You see it's below the range. And then here's the Morgan silver dollar, and it's also below the range. So now let's take it to sterling. We'll start it. Put our sterling on there. It's right in the range. Let's see what happens with the Morgan dollar. It's within that range, but you can see it's below. There's not a lot of difference there between 925 and 90%. So if we move it over to a Morgan silver dollar and put it on there. It's actually a little high. So actually, probably what has happened here is uh, more of the, most of the silver and the silver dollar is in the center. And as the outer layers have worn, it's gotten rid of the copper. With the Chinese counterfeits, a lot of them, it's very easy to find out if they're counterfeit. Well, here's a blank that say, uh, we, we know that it's plated, we, we segregate everything. But if you had something that came in that there was no markings and no way to really know, we can put it on the tester and it shows us with the arrow that there isn't any silver in it other than what's on the outside. So this is a plated blank. Half ounce.
within our range. Now the great thing with this little instrument is that it can do gold, but it can do different types of gold. There's sterling gold. Um, let me run back here to pure gold. Here's a bar, here's a credit Swiss bar that we have. So we'll run it. Shows that it is pure. Okay. So the first test of these two tests that we do, one is non-destructive and one is destructive. Now we didn't destroy the items that we tested today, but we did turn two of them black. In a way that destroyed the value of those pieces. So when we do get items that we have questions about, this is the first test that we do. Because it's not going to destroy something that could potentially still be valuable even though it's sterling silver. So if, you, if you've purchased a piece of a Chinese panda that you're not sure about, you've done a magnet test on it, you can't tell. The weight seems right. Tungsten is the same density almost as gold. So if it's been made out of tungsten, it's going to be the same thickness, same diameter, same characteristics as a real one. This is a great test uh, to use without having to cut the piece in half and see in what color the metal is inside. That's a destructive test. You probably won't get your money back. But what if you accidentally cut it in half and find out, oh, you know what, it really was a Chinese panda and it really is gold. Then you've just lost a lot of money. So this is a great way to have peace of mind in knowing what you've done. For the amount of money that this machine costs, you pay for itself in in weeks or months. What a great uh, asset it is to have this. And it's very portable, something that you can put in. There's a little backpack it comes in. You throw it in there, you take it to a coin show with you, uh, take it to the office, pull some items out, and you can do a quick test on them. And it'll verify any suspicions that you might have. Baseball coins have been very popular in the prices.